In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the most frustrating problem of the Chewy HiBook Pro, the trackpad. Technically, this fix should work on any HID compliant trackpad. However, I haven't had any others to test, so at the moment it's just based on the Chewy brand. Now I must point out that this is not my fix, I found it on the Chewy forum so I've left a link in the description below, but I don't think many people know about it, hence why I'm making this video. In the description of this video I've left a link to the code that you'll need as well as a link to the startup folder. So what I've done is I've created a text file on my desktop and just copied and pasted that code in there for use later. Next open up your favourite internet browser and you want to navigate to autohotkey.com. Once the page is loaded, you want to click download and then it'll take you to a further page where you'll click the blue button download auto hotkey installer. When prompted, you want to click save and then it'll ask you if you want to run, you click run and then this window will appear and you just click yes. You might find that nothing happens for a few seconds, but then you'll be presented with this screen and all you need to do is click express installation and that'll take a couple of minutes until it's fully installed. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and click exit. Then you need to right hand click on the desktop and choose new and create a new auto hotkey script. If it's not there, leave it a couple of minutes. If not, restart your machine. Then you need to give it a name. You can keep it as a default name. In my case, I did rename it, but it doesn't really matter. Once you've given it a name, you then need to right hand click and choose edit script, and then it'll open up a text editor window. But then you need to go back to the original file we made and copy those three lines of text over to the new document, as shown here. Once you've done that, Go ahead and save and close the window. Now we need to make sure that this script starts when we boot Windows. So you need to open up File Explorer, go to our original document, copy and paste the location into File Explorer, and then copy over the document to that folder. You may get an access denied, but all you need to do is click continue and it'll copy over. So that's it, you're done. All you need to do is restart your machine and the Windows 10 gestures will no longer work on the trackpad. However, they will still continue to work on the touchscreen. And just to prove that it does work, as you can see on here, I can still use the two finger gesture to scroll up and down. However, when I try to swipe in from the right or from the top, it doesn't work. I hope this video helped you, so if it did please leave a like, and if you've got any more questions leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.